I don't know what you're doing on Saturday night, but I, like pretty much the rest of the country, as far as I can gather, I'm hosting a little uh, Eurovision bash, get the sequins out, flags, <laughs> uh, everything, all works. But it is the Eurovision final, of course. Uh, UK only holding it because we came second uh, to Ukraine, who, of course, should be hosting it in Kiev, but sadly, because of the war, unable to host it. Although, to be fair, it's only because of the war that they actually won it, because I think we can all agree our song was better last year. But um, this, uh, this year we are seeing, of course, uh, UK, as always, along with the other big uh, European nations they get through automatically uh, to uh, go to the, the final but we've had a first semi-final second semi-final is tonight I know someone who's watching it all Steve Jenny Virgin Radio presenter Eurovision lover good morning <laughs> to you, you I love hear it all. your party is the place to be on Saturday that's the hot yeah, ticket yeah well basically as long as people bring food then I can cope but I can do the booze <laughs> uh, but look let's uh, let's talk about this I mean this this is an ongoing thing isn't it that you know the, the smaller countries have to compete in this fi f the semi-finals yes. to get in we're given a free pass on France Germany Italy Spain because mm -hmm. we pay for it all yep. basically and there have been times when Ireland who now they're not through they're are they not. this time no. but they, there was a time when they, they kept winning it and had to keep hosting it and they were saying we're desperate not to because we can't afford it tell us what happened in the first semi-final are there any i mean silly question really because it's not a music contest is it it's a it's a, a performance contest are there any half decent songs there are I, it's interesting i've been speaking to graham norton who's up there he's hosting part of it he says the first eurovision was the, the first semi-final was full of all the strong numbers so oh. tonight when you watch it at eight o'clock if you watch it there's lots of as he will put it go into the toilet moments all the hot contenders were packed into tuesdays well, that's, that's a bad idea surely it they, is you would they think should have done so. it like a world cup of football where you have the seeds yeah. and you you know so make sure the good 16 ones 16 went through on Tuesday, 10 go through tonight. I would say, if you're asking for my personal humble opinion, love Sweden. The, the girl that uh, is being qualified for Sweden mm -hmm. won it, I think, 13 years ago, uh, Lorraine. Um, also, Cha Cha Cha, this is the Finland entry mm -hmm. with the guy with the kind of inflatable green outfit that the BBC confused a fan for the other night and Lovely. interviewed him. It was a great mistake, wonderful mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the European. So they reckon there are a couple of good. Now, couple of these, those. Are, these, are these good acts, and we'll wait to see who goes through tonight, are these, are these good, as in, oh my God, that's an amazing song, and if it was released as a single, oh my God, it would be the top of the chart. Yes. We'd be, we'd be, everyone be, you'd be playing it on Virgin. Like, yeah. or, or is it their wacky, crazy, fun performances which we're all going to enjoy and laugh at while we're a bit drunk on Saturday night? I would say, out of tonight's actually, Australia's entry is really, really good. It starts off as a kind of sultry electro number and then turns into a massive rock banger. I could see you losing it, Julia, on, on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the key thing when you watch Eurovision is you have to have your scorecard. Yes. So you can, although all my scorecards over the years, it's always sort of like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, two, two. And then you realise, I'm giving very low marks. <laughs> I need to up my game because, yes. because these are all so so bad and then you start, you start throwing out a few 12s but also let's face it halfway through you you've given up you're you just, just you're just drinking and uh, and it's just a scroll um and by the time you get to the actual uh, the actual you know judging it takes ages, but they have managed to cut that down because there were a few shows where, I mean, it's, you feel like you've been going for about six oh, hours. I mean, it's Saturday night shows, four hours. It's still yeah. four hours long. Graham Norton said, though, because it's interesting, he's hosted so many, and he got on stage rehearsing last night, and he said that he got strangely emotional to think it's actually here, yeah. and he's actually doing the main bits, you yeah. know, this year. And the but, world's eyes are on But in a way, us. part of the best bit about it is having you know, Terry Wogan before him and now Graham yeah. Norton, who's totally just absolutely... He just owns it, doesn't he? He totally filled those shoes. They were really big shoes for but he absolutely does it. It's just the way that... It, it's, it's the epitome of how the UK views this, because in lots of parts of, the, of Europe, they genuinely think this is a talent contest. It's serious And stuff. it's about proper... And these, start, these people have huge hits in their countries yes now last year we did um, um i mean sam rider was incredible last i, year. Love and that I genuinely song. think that's one of the best songs yeah. we've ever that, that we, actually we ever come have, out of you and we should have won we would have done but mostly we, we don't know who our acts are i mean this may woman who clearly hates our country she shouldn't be representing our country the song's rubbish i'm sorry i don't think she's particularly good i mean we don't really care. It's just a fun night out for well, us. Well, according or fun night to in. our performance uh, with May, apparently the performance is incredible. They did the dress rehearsal last night. There's lots of. I mean, I don't know if you've seen the stage. It's kind of like opening hands, yeah. uh, representing you know to Ukraine. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, this is your event. But apparently the stage comes alive, unlike any other artist. So when you see it on Saturday night, okay. the song might be a bit mediocre with thirty three to one to yeah. win but apparently when you see the performance 
Great things happen. Okay, I hear. Well, that's the thing. It's best I to have hear. a good performance to hide, hide, hide a poor, <laughs> the song. A poor song. But mainly the songs are. I mean, they're supposed to be non-political. There are lots of strict rules. You can only have six performers on stage. Yes, it must be three minutes. So long. many rules. It's got to be original, original performer, original um, uh, song, and original music. Um, but um, lots of strict. It's supposed to be non-political, but it's increasingly political. And certainly the voting is hilarious. Yes, because these blocks that vote for each other and little, you know, countries that go, we'll vote for you if you vote for us. Yes, yeah. a done deal. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Nearly always, we do very badly, very yes. unfairly. Until last year, until last year, and I think we've turned a point, actually. Catherine Tate's delivering the... Uh, the now, <laughs> now, that's going to be interesting. I in have the multitude issues. Of, go on. I don't think Catherine Tate's funny. OK. If I she did it as a man... she's funny. Might be amusing. No, that's even less funny. No, oh. I genuinely... You know those things... You know, there's something you just... Go, I, I don't get it. Right. I don't know what everyone else is seeing. I don't, I'm... Oh, OK, that's, Just, that surprises no. me. More Graham Norton, I say. Yeah, no, Graham's a legend. Graham's OK, a... final prediction. How many points are we going to get? Because my view is you come first... Yes. ..which we should have done last yeah, year. Yeah, we should. ..or you go for the beauty of a null point. I think, disappointingly, it's going to be four or five. I think we're just going to be hanging in the middle there. But not, Maybe not, a three not or four. mid-table mediocrity. No, just kind of, just and there. Who's, and who's going to win? Um, I'm going to go for Sweden. Okay. I really am, because I saw the right, performance, I was blown away. Putting money on that. He knows his <laughs> stuff. He knows. Steve, always a pleasure to have your company. Steve Denyer there at Virgin Radio. Um, Mike Graham is here as well. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. How's your head, sir? Uh, it's a bit hot out there, actually, so I've been a bit sweaty this morning. I don't nice. know why. Sorry nice. to bring that to you, but, you know, <laughs> hopefully it's going to be cooler in here than it is out there. I don't know what it is about when the temperature goes up outside. Yeah. The temperature goes up inside. that nothing to do with our night out last night? Nothing then? to do with that at okay, all. OK, no, good to know. Absolutely good nonsensical to, know. to mention that. Um, that can't be anything. <laughs> I couldn't be more bored about the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh, I think they should do away with it. So... But I agree with you about Catherine Tate. What else do you want to moan about? Uh, I'm going to moan about Archbishop Welby. Well, we've done quite a lot of that I think he's a morally today. bankrupt individual, and I don't care to hear what he has to say about anything. Thanks very much indeed. But it, it, it is this thing, like, where were you standing up for, like, all these kids who weren't getting yeah. education during right. the lockdown? Also, and people being the Church of England... Homes. Where was he then? The Church of England actually has the ability to house thousands and thousands of people yeah. on all of the land that they own. They yeah. have millions and millions and yeah. millions of pounds of investments around the world. Yeah. Why don't they do something about the refugee crisis yeah. in the world, if but that's again, what they but want the, to do? The, the, the priest we spoke to I'm sure it's a lovely man, that. but it just it's, whenever you ask anyone, whether it's a Labour politician or anyone who pontificates yeah. on this, so tell me who did you get it in and right. how many of them. They, they will say, we need to solve the problem at source. Oh, yeah, let's just go and sort out some wars, shall yes. we? Let's make sure the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa is living at the same level as we also, do Also, how condescending was he, you know? Oh, I've got three Ukrainians. Well, it's not a competition. You know, I could have had five Bulgarians in the basement if, they, if, I mean, if that's what you want. I mean, to be fair, you have done that. Yeah, I have done that. <laughs> and we've, we've already got that one out of the system. You know, you know, the, it's, police, it's the police weren't able to prove I've got three. anything. I mean, it's the most ridiculous thing. That you've, I mean, the new virtue signalling. I've got three Ukrainians. He was, no, he was well, great. I mean, chained up. Very, very much unimpressed with the fact that I don't have Ukrainians living in my flat. Right. It is quite a big flat, though. I mean, I think you I'm can not bedroom wise, it's not, I'm afraid. Yeah, but you've got a big living room. You can have a big living room. put Ukrainian family in my living room. You know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But the whole thing is nonsense. Also, I've worked out why the Trans Pennine Express doesn't yep. work. Because it's a trans train, and therefore it isn't a train. Well, someone has actually tweeted in to ask what's <laughs> happening to the cis pen pennine train. Exactly. <laughs> so anyway, That's I'm done for another day. Work. He's up. It's going to be a lively one. You know it is. JK <laughs> in tomorrow morning. I'll be back with you on Monday. This is Talk Breakfast.